Welcome to this weekend's recap of explosive sports action right here on the Golden Score News on non field Flicks, your home of black entertainment. My name is Adela Neo Grande, your most trusted spy in the world of sports, here to bring you yet another electrifying show. Stay tuned. Yeah. Welcome back. The weekend wasn't short of goals, runs, glory, drama, and everything that makes us all love sports. Let's see the stories making headlines this Monday night. Kaiser Chiefs through to CAF Champions League knockout stages. Bucks crush our athlete at Orlando. Pakistan Super League to restart in June. Sun Rises lose in Indian Premier League opener. Somerset complete the comeback victory. Gunners glow with Gabby Goal. Jose Mourinho top four hopes slip away. West Ham and Leicester in five goal thriller. Atletico Madrid goes top of La Liga. Benzema winner lights up El Clasico. Let's get a deeper look into these stories. Now, Kaiser Chiefs through to CAF Champions League knockout stages. Kaiser Chiefs showed tenacity and a never-say-die attitude to come back from behind twice and draw the game 2-2 with Horoya Athletic Club at the General Lansana. Conte Stadium as they progress to the quarterfinals of the CAF Champions League. This result ensured that Chiefs finished second in Group C with nine points. Looking at our next story, box crush our athlete at Orlando. Orlando Pirates moved one step closer to the CAF Confederations Cup knockout stages with a 3-0 win over our athlete Benghazi in Group A last night. Now, Mel scored an own goal, and Tulani Lashwayo was also on the score sheet. Taking a look at what's happening in cricket, Pakistan Super League to restart in June. According to reports, the Pakistan Super League will resume on the 1st of June, with the final on the 20th of June, after it was postponed because of a coronavirus outbreak. Now, the... 2020 tournament was halted on the 4th of March after seven cases were reported. Taking a look at another cricket story, Sunrises lose in Indian Premier League opener. A half century from England's Johnny Besto was not enough as Sunrises lost by 10 runs against Ian Morgan's Kolkata Knight Riders in the Indian Premier League opener. Besto hit 55 from 40 deliveries, but Sunrisers fell short of their victory target of 188. Taking a look at another story, Somerset complete fine comeback victory. Somerset chased 285 to beat Middlesex and complete a remarkable comeback victory by four wickets in the county championship game at Lords. We'll be taking a short break. When we come back, we'll be looking at the English Premier League and the Spanish La Liga where some incredible things happened. You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Golden Score News right here on Non-Fuel Flicks. Wow, I mean, it was an incredible 
weekend in sports. It was a weekend that we even saw Slatan get a red card. Could you believe it? Well, AC Milan, I'm sure, still won that game, really, because when Slatan plays for you, your chances of winning all the time is quite high. Anyway, let's look at what happened in the English Premier League over the weekend. Now, Arsenal fans will be smiling this morning, and I know why. Gunners glow with Gabi Go. Gabriel Martinelli scored in his first start since January as Arsenal ended a run of four games without a win with victory over the Premier League's bottom club Sheffield United. The Brazilian has endured an injury-plagued season but was on hand to net his side's second goal. It came between two as Alexander Lacazette goals. The 3 0 win is Arsenal's first clean sheet in 15 games and it lifts the Gunners above Leeds and Aston Villa and up to ninth on the table with 45 points. Now, let's have a look at another remarkable game that happened over the weekend. Jose Mourinho's top four hopes slip away. Manchester United inflicted further damage on Tottenham's hope of making the Premier League's top four as they came from behind to secure a fully deserved victory. Now, Sun put Spurs ahead before the break, but the visitors recovered impressively for a win that leaves them 11 points behind leaders Manchester City with a game in hand. Cavani got a goal. Greenwood completed the formalities with virtually the last kick of the game as he provided a finish that was just too hot for Lores at his near post. Now from Manchester United to their former player, let's see how Jesse Lingard is doing. Jesse Lingard shines in a five-goal thriller. Now Jesse Lingard continued his stunning form with West Ham by scoring twice in the first half to set the Hammers on course for a crucial victory over fellow Champions League hopefuls Leicester City. The two sides came into the weekend occupying the last two Champions League spots before wins for Chelsea and Liverpool on Saturday nudged West Ham down to sixth place. But David Moyes' men showed they're up for the challenge of qualifying for Europe's top club competition for the first time, going 3-0 up and holding on during a late Leicester rally to climb back into fourth. A brace from Kelechi Yanacho was not enough for the Foxes. What an exciting game that was. Now let's have a look at the Spanish La Liga because Atletico Madrid went top of La Liga. Atletico Madrid went back to the top of La Liga by only one point after laboring to a draw against Real Betis. Yannick Carrasco put Atletico ahead when he latched on to a loose ball and tapped home. But Christian Tello leveled with a cushioned finish in the 20th minute. Now we'll be saving the best for last because when it comes to Spain, you think of the Spanish La Liga and how incredible it always is. Well, this particular edition lived up to all the expectations as Benzema winner lights up El Clasico. Now, Real Madrid temporarily moved to the top of La Liga after Karim Benzema's flicked finish helped them claim a thrilling 2-1 victory over Barcelona in what was a wild Clasico. A deflected Tony Cruz free kick put Madrid in charge and while Oscar Mingueza pulled one back for Barca, they fell to defeat in what could be Lionel Messi's final appearance in this fixture. Well, we certainly hope it's not really because Lionel Messi has made some really memorable moments in the El Clasico over the last couple of years. Man, we wish Cristiano Ronaldo could even come back and grace us with his presence in this fixture. Well, that wraps up the Golden Score News this hour. Be sure to tune in again on Wednesday for more explosive sports action. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. It's a goodbye from me, Adela Neogurende. Till next time, goodbye.